Welcome back to Vintage Diamonds. What is your favorite show of Helen Murray, and how old were you when you saw her for the first time? Let me know in the comment section. In today's video I tell you a few interesting facts about the beautiful Helen Murray which you probably didn't know. For her services to drama, she was named Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 2003 Queen's Birthday Honors List. According to John Berman, he cast her opposite Nicole Williamson in Excalibur, because he felt their dislike of each other would make them excellent rivals Morgana and Merlin. In 1996, she allegedly refused the commander of the Order of the British Empire. Despite her Russian ancestry and birth name, she does not speak Russian, but speaks French fluently. She received a standing ovation for her performance at the Venice Film Festival premiere of The Queen. Third actress to win two Golden Globe Awards in a single year, following Sigourney Weaver and Joan Chloride. She played both Elizabeth I and Elizabeth II, two queens of England. She won 29 major awards for her portrayal of Queen Elizabeth II in The Queen, including all the top awards, except Khan. For the same film, she was also nominated for three additional awards. During the shooting of White Nights, she met her husband-to-be Taylor Hackford. Hackford wore a tartan kilt when they married in the Scottish Highlands. The longest she has gone without an Oscar nomination in seven years, between the madness of King George and Gosford Park. She is fascinated by facial scars, especially on men, finding them quite mysterious and sexy, perhaps indicative of a life chapter in progress. As part of her role in The Dead, she wore a facial scar. She told the Radio Times, I'm a naturist at heart. I love being on beaches where everyone is barefoot. Ugly people, beautiful people, old people, whatever. It's so unisexual and so liberating. In 2004, she was named Naturist of the Year by British Naturism. As she stated, I am very passionate about naturism, and am most happy on a new beach with others of all ages. 